were so happy you could come have lunch with your father and me, Fluttershy. I'm so glad you asked. And it was super awesome of you to invite me, too. Things have been so busy with the Wonderbolts lately, it's great to get a chance to relax someplace quiet. That's exactly what I intend to do now that I've retired. In fact, I converted the back house to showcase my cloud collection. I have my clouds, your mom has her flowers, you've got your animals, and your brother? Zephyr Breeze has his... interests. <laughs> I'll say! Remember when he was convinced square clouds were gonna be the next big thing? <laughs> He's matured a lot since then. Actually, it's funny you bring Zephyr up. Oh no! Not again! It's just for a little while, dear. Till he gets back on his hooves. Wait! You don't mean... Guess who's home? <laughs> That's right, Big Sis. It's your one and only favorite little brother, a moi. Aww. My little pony, my little pony. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friend? Hi, Flutter Butter. How's the bestest big sister ever? Hey, where's the love? How about a little excitement to see your baby brother? <laughs> I'm just surprised. When you left, you said main therapy was your calling. Oh, it is, sis. It is. You would not believe how much stress ponies hold in their manes. Everything gets limp and unmanageable. No offense, but brushing alone won't solve the problem. What went wrong? Nothing went wrong per se. It's just the powers that be were so locked into their required styles. And you know me. I've got my own style, and I think they were a little threatened. Oh, this is lovely, dear. Ugh. Well, if it isn't Rainbow's the best flyer that ever was, Dash. Oh, well, this ought to be good. Sorry, I, I shouldn't tease you. I know the whole super awesome flyer bit's just to impress me. Still, thanks for showing up for my homecoming. It's, it's sweet. <gasps> I kind of thought there'd be more ponies here. I mean, what about your party planner friend, um, Sprinkle Pie? She could have turned this into a real house party. Am I right? I mean, this place could use it. Drab. <laughs> I... We have been meaning to redecorate. Dad, please. When I get all my stuff back in here, you won't even remember what this boring old place looked like. Um, Mom, Dad, can I talk to you for a second? What is it, honey? I'm not so sure letting Zephyr move back home is a good idea. I know you both want to help, but don't you remember last time? Zephyr's just trying to find his place, dear. Oh, I know. It just seems like his place always ends up being your place. And then he sort of makes you do everything for him. Well, we may not be as bold as you, Fluttershy, but don't you worry. We know how to stand up for ourselves. And they were all like, we love your free spirit, Zeph, and it would be wrong to cage that. Go follow your dreams. Zeph was just telling me all about the ins and outs of main therapy school. It's all so political. I just could not take it. Well, maybe if you stuck with it for more than a few weeks. Sorry, sis, but when something's not the right fit, this pony's gotta fly. Anyway, good talk, Rainbows. I am so touched you came to see me. Really, I hate to deprive you of my presence, but this breeze needs his Z's. You know it's the middle of the day, right? I know. Siesta. I'm just gonna assume you made up my room the way I like it, right, Mom? 
Oh, I almost forgot. All my stuff is out front. Want to grab that for me, Pops? <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Same old Zeph. I know you weren't expecting to see your brother, but you've been kind of quiet, even for you. I'm sorry, but I am just so... Uh, so peeved right now. <gasps> oh, excuse my language. Rainbow Dad! Fluttershy! It's me, Pinkie Pie! Your friend! Oh, I'm sorry about that. We just had lunch with Fluttershy's parents, and you'll never guess who showed up. Mare Mare, Cranky Doodle Donkey, Cheese Sandwich, Miss Harshmini! Zephyr Breeze. Oh, that makes more sense. And from the look on your face, I'm guessing it's for another one of his extended stays. She's a bit peeved. Zephyr is my brother and I love him, but he's never learned to do anything for himself. And I don't know why my parents keep letting him trot all over them. Well, if your parents won't stand up for themselves, maybe you need to stand up for them. You know, you're right. Zephyr, <sighs> <gasps> breeze! Oh, hey, sis. Come to see me work my magic and turn this place from drab to fab, huh? Well, watch and learn. Can't you see what you're doing? Yeah, I'm getting rid of this old stuff so I can turn the back house into my art studio. I decided I'm gonna be a sculptor. I'm talking about Mom's flowers. She's gonna move them so I can have my meditation patio here. She loves replanting stuff, don't you, Mom? And Dad's been collecting his favorite bits of cloud from the factory since before you were born. The very best from every production run since my first day on the job. <sighs> but why hold on to the past, really? You can't just fly in and change everything Mom and Dad have built here. But this is the only place big enough for my studio slash meditation garden. Oh, unless I do it in the living room. I know speaking up for yourself can be hard, believe me. But Zephyr will never stand on his own if he can lean on you. Don't be so dramatic, sis. Mom and Dad just want to let me be me, right? I can do plenty on my own. I agree, which is why you should move out. Oh, well, I mean, I totally would. But I don't think that's what Mom and Dad want. It's not. Is it? Uh... You know we love you, son. But your sister has a point. Sure. I mean, I really just came back here to keep you guys company, but whatever's best for the family. I just... I just gotta grab a few essentials. And you definitely have somewhere else to go? Of course! There's plenty of ponies who'd love for a little breeze to blow their way. So, where's Zep gonna go now? I'm not sure. Oh, I hope I did the right thing. Are you kidding? 100%! Hey, sis! Your new room is here! Okay, maybe like 70%. Um, Zephyr, when Mom and Dad told you to find someplace else to live, I don't think they meant here. Well, it's not their house, so by definition, it's someplace else. Am I right, Rainbows? Stop boogling me and help settle this. <sighs> you know what? I totally forgot that I promised to help Pinkie Pie sprinkle something. You said you had plenty of places to go. Uh. <sighs> Fine. You can stay here. You're the best! We're gonna have so much fun. On one condition. Totally. Anything. You have to get a job. Cracking the whip, huh? <laughs> you always were kind of bossy. 
Zephyr Breeze? Kidding. Get a job. Absolutely. idea how bad morning sun is for your mane. Remember how we talked about you getting a job? It was just yesterday, and it's totally on my to-do list, but you can't expect me to find something befitting my awesomeness overnight. I thought you might say that. So I did it for you. What? These fabrics all need to be dyed those colors. Do you think you can handle that? Um, I don't know. You get started while Fluttershy and I head to the store for more supplies. Ta-da! Good luck! Thanks for giving my brother a job. I just hope he's up to the task. <laughs> oh, darling. Dying fabric is the simplest thing. You just dip cloth in a box. <gasps> <laughs> Rarity, you're back! What did you do? Since you talk to animals all the time, I just figured it runs in the family, so why not outsource this stuff, you know? Shh. Turns out the animal communication thing isn't genetic. Zephyr, I asked you to do this job, not to pawn it off on innocent woodland creatures. Okay. I guess you have some feelings about this, but you should know it's basically your cat's fault for walking by and giving me the idea. But I'm actually kind of into this look. So I guess what I'm saying is, you're welcome. Um, what, uh, what, oh. <gasps> Zephyr, this is just unacceptable. Wow. I guess I know when my efforts aren't appreciated. <gasps> Whoa, those are tall. I'm glad you noticed, because they're your new job. What? You said you were taking me to tea with the princess. Actually, I said I was going to tea with the princess. You're going to work. Sis, come on! Don't worry, Zephyr. It'll be easy. I just need a Pegasus pony to fly up and wipe each window down from top to bottom. And I'm here to make sure you do it right. Wow, Zephyr, this looks amazing. Well, you know, like you said, it was easy. Where's Spike? Up here! You were supposed to supervise, not do all the work. I was supervising, and then Zephyr asked me about different cleaning techniques and which one was best, and if I could... Hey, I did all the work. Don't let him fool you. Old Spike is quite the taskmaster. <laughs> Oh, come on, sis. I had to ask Spike to make sure I was doing it right. You didn't do it at all. <gasps> well, I guarantee there won't be any fooling around on the next job. Next job? That's right, Zep. You're coming with me. You don't have to come up with some excuse to hang out with me, Rainbows. Let's just go for a fly and see where the day takes us. Uh, we're going to Wonderbolt's headquarters, and I am going to give you a job so simple and straightforward, not even you can weasel your way out of it. And the second you try, I'm going to zap you with a storm cloud. Got it? Oh, I got it. I can already feel the electricity between us. Rainbow Dash is crazy. Okay, she expects me to do stuff right when she asks me to do it. It's insane! So you just quit? Again? Escaped is more like it. Besides, what was I supposed to do? Keep trying. Finish something for once. Maybe that way you'd actually find something you like to do. That all sounds fine for your friends, but it's just not me. Then I'm sorry, Zephyr, but I don't think you can live here. Fine. I'll just go live in the woods like my four ponies before me. Guess the only breeze this Zephyr can count on is his own. Oh, cheer up, 
Fluttershy. I know it was hard, but you did the right thing. You couldn't let Zephyr pull the same stuff on you that he's always pulled on your folks. I guess so. Oh, hello, Constance. Oh? Oh, dear. See, Wigford? The breeze needs no pony. We've got food, shelter. Just need to put the old kettle on. Come on, sticky, sticky. Make with the sparks. Ugh! What's a pony gotta do to find a decent stick around here? I know he needs to learn to do things for himself, but no, I can't let him live like this. Actually, I don't think he'd make it through the night. <laughs> Fluttershy! Hey, I was just, um, cozying up in my sleeping bag. Ready to call it an early night. Such an exhausting day, you know? It's noon. You know me. Siesta! Ugh, I can't do this. I can't do anything. Zephyr, you're smart and talented. You could do anything if you just tried. And what if I give everything I have and still fail? Honestly, I think it's better not to try at all. But then you won't ever do anything. I don't expect you two to understand. I mean, when have you ever failed? You've literally helped save Equestria like a dozen times. And I was worried that I'd fail every time. Sometimes you have to do things even though you might fail. But failing is the worst. And quitting doesn't feel much better, does it? No. So here's the deal. You can come back with me, but you have to do exactly what I say. No exceptions. I will literally do anything you ask me, if it means I don't have to stay here. Okay, you know what you have to do, right? Beg for help, then quit when I get frustrated. Just kidding! Total opposite of that. Got it. You think he can do it? Every pony has times in their lives when their hearts are filled with doubt. Frustration builds up inside and it makes you want to shout. But if you just take that first step, the next one will appear. And you find you can walk, then run, then fly into the stratosphere. You've got to give it your best so you can pass the test. Give it everything that you've got. And we know you can win. You just have to begin. Have to give it your very best shot. There are times when you want to give up, when you think that you can't go on. But if you fight through with all of your might, you will find that you can't go wrong. That you could do it all along. Every pony has times in their lives when their hearts are filled with doubt. But if you just give it your all, you'll start to work it out. And I know I can't give up too soon, get myself in the zone. And I find I can walk, then run. I did it. I actually finished something by myself. And it looks exactly like it's supposed to. I knew you could do it, Zephyr. I didn't. But I do now. Thanks for believing in me, sis. That's what big sisters are for. So 
Whoa! Zap! Now that you've accomplished this, what's next? Anything I want! I mean, the sky's the limit, right? But, you know, I've got some baby steps in mind. Thanks for dinner, Mr. and Mrs. Shy. <laughs> it was great as usual. Thank you, dear, for not giving up on Zephyr. After all these years of pining for him, it must be so satisfying to see him on the right track. <laughs> Have you heard from Zephyr? Is he doing well? I tell you, he's a brand new pony. So full of drive and determination. <laughs> That's great. Guess who graduated from main therapy training? <laughs> awesome! Congratulations, son. You look so handsome. I'm so proud of you, Zephyr. It was only a matter of time before they recognized my true genius. But actually doing the work probably helped, and I wouldn't have if it weren't for you. Oh, I just gave you some encouragement. You did this on your own. And honestly, right now I feel like I can do anything. Except find a place. I can still crash here for a few days, right? Thank you.